Hey everybody, today I wanted to share with you a really useful tool that'll save you a ton of time if you're working in Unity. I thought it would be appropriate to just leave the loading screen up right at the beginning because that's really what this is about, speeding up loading and editing time. So here I've got a little mini game where a character walks around and get into a turn-based combat mode and give some actions. And down here in the log, I've got some stuff spamming. This says previewing path and it's showing the path for my line that where my character is going to move. I'm gonna change that code without stopping our game. So we'll go over here and I'm just gonna add a simple like a two right to the end, save and tab over to Unity and let's see what happens. What you should expect to happen is that we're gonna sit here for a very long time. It's going to import stuff, it's gonna compile and then eventually things are going to break because running and making code changes while you're running in Unity doesn't work well unless you set your stuff up exactly in a very specific way and have everything ready for it. And even when it does work, well, you can see we're at what, 30 seconds now? It just takes forever and ever. So in this video, I wanted to show you a really useful tool that is available for free for some people and cheap for others that makes it so that you can make these changes without breaking stuff and do it really quickly. Now that tool is called Hot Reload and I just want to show you really quickly the difference in speed and how easily this works. So go back into the project and here I've just reset it. I'll save that, change that back to a two and we'll just click back over here and you can see that it's instantly updated, it reloaded and it told me what happened right there. I didn't have to wait 30 seconds, everything just worked and it didn't break all of my other existing data. Now I love this tool, it's great for not just simple things like changing logs but actually changing functionality, adding functionality that maybe you were in the middle of and you forgot one little line or you forgot one parameter, you typoed something with hot reload, you can just go in there and quickly change it. I do it all the time. Now the things that you can't do are add new fields and parameters or kind of change a class. You can't go change a base class from something. But the core stuff that you want to do like regularly when you're debugging and, and when making little mistakes, maybe setting the wrong layer mask because you've typed it out and you want to just switch it up, all of those things, it's so much nicer if you don't have to reset the entire context of your game. You don't even have to wait around for five to 10 seconds to, and then get, get to the point where you've forgotten what it was that you were fixing. It's just instant and fast. And then when you make changes that can't be done automatically, like let's say I went back in here and I add a public, uh, public float width wouldn't make any sense, equals 50, and then, and then I do something here like it's plus uh, here this times underscore width. Just to show you what it will do in Hot Reload, it'll actually give me the notifications right here, tell me what's wrong, what it couldn't do, and then let me just hit the button to stop and recompile. So it'll take that over and then makes it very easy to do these things. So if you haven't tried it out, go check it out. They have a $70 lifetime indie version. There's a 40, I think it's $40 a month or 45 a month. Uh, pro version for companies making money and then they also have if you read the fine print a version available for free for people who are unable to afford any of them but I mean if you can afford the 70 bucks and you get a lot of use out of it go for it but go try it out on the 30 day thing and then um, even after 30 days it still gives you two hours of hot reloading for free a day after that um, on the, the other licenses. So yeah, go try it out, check it out. I really like it, highly recommend it. If you have a big project and you're sitting there waiting around for a very long time for things to load, this will save you a ton of time and a, probably a ton of money, well, a ton of money and time. If you have other tips like this or if you've used this tool or something else, drop a comment down below. And if this was helpful, uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you in the next video, bye. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, this is actually one of the tools that I'm going to be using in the game architecture course. So if that was something you're interested in, you can check that out in the link in the description.